Hello and happy new year everyone. So I hope you all made it successful and well through all the festivities in the past days. I definitely did and I am just starting the background music. Give me a second. Uh, something... Yeah, that sounds about nice. And volume... Volume should be good. Yeah. Mm, maybe a little bit less. Mm, yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. Okay, so again, Happy New Year. I hope everyone arrived safely in 2024. <laughs> yes, and of course, my boss called today and for some reason I know his phone number from the back of my hand and my phone rang, I saw the number and I was like, should I get to the phone or should I answer the phone or not? And I answered it, of course I did, and he, he said, I just wanted to say Happy New Year. And I think that's nice. Yeah. So, okay. For that, he can always call me while I'm on vacation. Speaking of vacation, um, last week, as promised, I updated my streaming schedule. I'm planning a stream today and on Thursday because I still am on vacation, officially. So... I have time, no need to get up at 4.15 in the morning. So, yes, that's it. Um, what else? Yeah, New Year's Eve was fine. So I was visiting friends and I had a lot of fun. Went to the casino, didn't lose money, that's a plus. Didn't win any money, any, any money either. Okay, I can live with that. So, I started very good into 2024. And from me to you, Happy New Year. And I wish you every success and every goal achieved that you set for yourself. So you can say at the end of 2024, it was a good year. Um, okay, it's been a while, but for those who watched the last stream, a quick summary, because I'm standing in the garage and the, what's it called, Resfani was out and about last time. So, um, let me just go to the global map and give you an update. Uh, last time we went via Island Lake to Drummond Island and discovered the P16 and did exactly one bridge, this one here in the south. And then we kind of stopped after three hours. So the Reswani was on Island Lake, uh, no, no, was on Drummond Island, back here, and P16 was at the fuel station. So, um, what I did in the meantime, I invested a couple of hours to do, like, the mundane tasks, like opening roads, constructing bridges and so on and so forth because this bridge is finished, this bridge is finished, Ten Hut is almost done, first stage completed. Um, I fixed the uh, repair issue we had last time, it seems there is a bug in New Game Plus. So um, when you set it to random, you cannot use any repair equipment when you are outside, which is 
pretty bad when it comes to mission vehicles and tasks to repair a truck, for example. So I fixed that uh, to fixed values. So the uh, spare parts or the repair points cost four times as much but they do double the amount of repairs than normal. So if you have 150 repair points on your truck, then in reality they do 300. So that's nice. Um, yeah, I fixed that. I adjusted the um, mission rewards slightly uh, because upgrades and stuff is expensive and I only got the uh, Factor 1 rewards. Progress would have been very, very slow. Although we sold the um, uh, the DSC vehicles we had available, this is why we have 423,000 credits available at the moment. But if you have a look at the truck store, the um, trucks cost I think twice as much I would have to check the um, uh, English German speak English I would have to check the save file for details but uh, trucks seem to cost twice as much so I wouldn't get far with the 423,000 so that's that um, oh so yeah, Black River is kind of mostly done. I still need to recover the Chevrolet. I need to recover the stuck trailer. I need to finish the drainage task. So you see, I, I went a bit around. So uh, drainage, first point complete. Then this point is complete, so only over here where we can find the uh, drowned truck over here. Then drainage should be complete. So a lot still to do. On the other hand, we could go to Alaska and go from there. But on the other hand, I think uh, finishing what I started is is the better approach. Yeah. I think that's better. Uh, yeah, Smithville Dam, just to complete the map tour. Um, I did scouting runs, English Daniel. I did scouting runs as well. So um, I went all the way over here and discovered that uh, watchtower. I did the Michigan trail task already. So again, mundane stuff, everyday stuff. So yes, I put a couple of hours in. I did the scouting run to the southwestern corner which we skipped last time because I thought it was a good idea to take the Resvani through the swamp uh, moved all trucks back so the Fleet Star and the GMC are in Black River at the moment yeah and that's about it um, I went out with the Jeep Renegade to get the Scout 800 in Black River I fitted the Scout 800 with every upgrade which is available at the moment and sold the Jeep. So the Scout is my backup vehicle for the time being and I went out to recover the Chevrolet in Smithville Dam. So that's, that's that, I guess. So, yeah, and somewhere over here uh, there was a marker for my CK for my own Chevy for some reason I don't know we will know in time or was it over there 
Uh, I don't know anymore. So, but so much for map tours. We want to get going. And I prepared something already. So I took the P16. I have the trailers over here. So we can actually go ahead and get the twin steer. So let me just... Uh, oh, I can't zoom out any further. Okay. So let's get the twin steer. Let's get things rolling. And... Let's just say... Oh, let's just try to be... Not dumb. That would be a plus. Oh, yeah, I think I spent like... Ooh, three hours, four hours off screen in the game. So this is why I gave you a quick update. So, P16. Powerful, but... Yeah... Unstoppable, more or less. But unfortunately, not quick. But very relaxing. things we couldn't do last time we can do now and now we have the twin steer and I didn't need the winch to get going nice I'm, I'm taking bets if I can make it um, without the help of the winch out of the quarry at the end. Uh, 
And some tree cage. The momentum again. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Just continue. a fuel trailer here for the repair task to the right. line. I don't think that would have changed much. I'm still going. Slowly, but... Nah, steadily, I don't know, but... Definitely slowly. No winch points available with a power pole right next to the truck. Mm. Is it just me or was quick winching better? Quote unquote. In the old days. Tomorrow will be interesting as well. Uh, tomorrow I will be editing the episode for uh, Thursday. Yeah, that's the one. So yeah, tomorrow I will be editing the episode for Thursday for my YouTube channel. And to be honest, um, I can't really remember what happened. Because the footage was recorded so long ago. Yeah. I think I, I will rewatch the whole thing and, and we'll, we'll go from there. for that winch point. Hmm.
Yeah, getting used to the controller again. It's not... <laughs> not as fast, not as precise, I guess, as it should be. Well, to the right, we still have the... International Transtar still for recovery. But I collected the upgrade for the scout already, so... Again, something I did when... Going back with the pizza. As it comes to mind right now, as to the fuel situation, every gas station has its own price. So there is no common price for a region or common price for a map. Price range um, in this safe game, I need to check, but it's from four credits per liter to, I think, 15 or something in that region. But when trying to figure out why repairing didn't work, I created the one or the other New Game Plus as well and spent the one or the other minute in it, just for reference sake. And the maximum price I encountered was 30 credits per liter, which is, I think, in the region of 100 credits per gallon. So prices are expensive, but manageable. Although, on the other hand, I said it already last week, we have so many fuel available. So in Michigan, we don't have to worry about fuel. Slowly and steadily. Okay, last chance. Still taking bets if I can make it up the hill without needing a winch. To be honest, I only made it once. Onto the road without the assistance of a winch or a vehicle because I got stuck and had no winch point available. So, okay. Now I'm stuck. Do I have a winch point in range? Mm, doesn't seem so. Mm, nope. Can I reverse? Okay.
almost perfect. Remnants of the last live stream. The GMC rescuing my fleet star. Unfortunately, the um, the recording of the stream did not record the desktop audio only the microphone that is why the video isn't available anymore because you would only hear my voice and like three hours of streaming without any background noise or anything except my voice mm, let's just say no Okay, I think this one's in the back. to see this uh, twin steer then in the later game with all your drive available. Was introduced later with I think it was oh now I'm not telling anything which is verifiably wrong and I'm not guessing Oh, it was introduced later, it was not available from the start. Nice quality of life update which came later. And I really love to see then the twin steer with all weird drive. So, uh, no engine upgrade. Uh, Off-road, race suspension is in Alaska available. You have all-terrain tires. I think I will grant you the... Ooh. Hmm, where is my cheat sheet? Where is my cheat sheet? Uh, let me just check. There. Da -da -da. So, mud tires. There they are. Oh, great. This is only optics. Okay, nice to know. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking the stats, they are available. So, EMHS is two on dirt and two in mud, so equal. And the MS1 have 3 in dirt and 1.6 in mud, so slightly or one quarter less mud performance, but like twice the amount on dirt roads. Hmm. This is actually tempting. So, let me have the MHS. The, ooh, that's nice. 
a jack of all threats. So the DLC tires. Um, I would go for now. Okay. Let's go for those. Yeah, they look pretty nice. And put the mouse away again. That's a tire selection. And you, and you. Oh, maybe we can use you after all. Diff lock engageables, stock air filter. Yeah, that should be high enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Global map. Still things to do. Island Lake. Hmm. Wrong button. Because I want to take both trailers. Oh, front wheel is... Also collected the upgrade already, the engine upgrade to the left, which can be found here. get it going it's going again. Okay. to do something different because the usual playbook would suggest that I leave 
the service trailer at the corner and then go for uh, then take the fuel carrier and go for the international trans car trans star recovery and so on and so forth uh, that would be the usual playbook um, I will deviate slightly Although fuel ex is expensive, we have it. So Although a bit oversized. Slightly. Just slightly. We will go for the repair of the GMC. Because why the heck not? Your trailer's coming along nicely. Okay, this is yeah, this is real real drive because. I have to push the front of the vehicle through the mud and the front axle is front axle is doing very little. And that's not it. Okay, more challenging than I thought, but that's a good thing. This one. Don't forget my fuel trailer, but yeah, out of range. And now watch out for tree stumps. This hidden little menace. Oh, 
Oh, now seriously. Why did I have in mind that I have to refuel the GMC? Okay. Bad memory. But interesting for my hard mode playthrough over on YouTube. This I will remember. Dangerous water level. Yeah, deep mud and only real wheel drive. Not the best of options. the fuel trailer aside, turn it a little. This sounds I had it all planned out. Um, let's just say no. Yeah, but um, as powerful as the P16 is, it has massive front weight engine compartment. And the rear axle has to push it through the mud. And this is when even the P16 meets its match, so to say. Wrong button again. Yes, yeah, as, as soon as as soon as you don't have to push a pile of mud in front of you, everything's fine. So then we are actually in the pretty good situation that we can we will leave the scout fuel trailer at the corner as refuel station and I will just bring the service trailer to the other side of the tunnel. I think sooner or later I will bring that service trailer to the sawmill. So we have a service mobile service station quote unquote over there. Over there, a little bit down the road, there's a second scout fuel trailer already. So fuel situation on that end of the map is great. Then we have the semi-fuel carrier and oh, not into the tunnel, only into the zone. Some 
Poffee. No coffee, no worky. Simple as that. Too far. And now the Transtar. Three viewers right now. Nice to see you. Welcome to my live stream. Um, in the beginning, I explained a bit why, how, and everything else. So, if you want to go watch that, feel free. Otherwise, enjoy. If you have anything to say, you are welcome. Of course in English, because it's an English-speaking stream, but for my German viewers, you can also write in German. Then I will translate for the rest, to be fair to everyone. And again, Happy New Year to you all. Yeah, I think going solo it's is no is absolutely no issue. It's the full trailer in the end in the back. Okay, that last bit and then the worst should be behind us. I didn't miss the Transtar. Just putting the trailer in a different spot.
the turning radius of that P16. And yes, if you are wondering, I set this save game to permanent daylight because having to watch a dark screen kind of sucks. And this is SnowRunner live stream edition, so daytime only. to the left. Seriously, don't press the wrong buttons. This annoying habit of pressing the wrong buttons. Do you have that too? can do it. We all know it. the power the P16 has, it is actually pretty fuel efficient. Not in this environment, although, okay, I'm, I'm playing in immersive mode, this is why you only see parts of the UI and so on and so forth. Uh, but I guess at the moment, 12, 14 liters per minute. Because we are dragging dead international trend star behind us.
You can make the test with the with any um, vehicle with switchable with switchable all-wheel drive. Uh, when you enable all-wheel drive, the turning radius is smaller than without all-wheel drive. And this massive vehicle pushes so hard. According to game settings, as far as I read the save game, if I read it correctly, I'm taking twice the amount of damage when I get damaged. Come on. Come on. can do it. You can do it without winch. Yes. And we did it. And now I'm not making the same mistake. I learned from my mistake in my hardness series video. I'm not going all the way to the garage. Although I have to admit, I was tempted. was not in the playbook. Uh, what do we have here? I think I will do... Not a twin steer. Well, this is a mobile garage. F. <laughs> 320 liters of fuel and if I'm recalling correctly 450 repair points and four tires on this thing. It's quick. Um Deep mud is not recommended. But it did. I didn't change tires. It has still the Resvani tires on it. And it did reasonably well in Island Lake, so... Yeah, it, it can hold its own. And hopefully, hopefully it can pull some weight. Otherwise, I will need to get a truck again.
So in case you are new here or you did forget or can't remember, uh, repairs in the garage are free. This is why the Raswani is so pristine looking. It kinda easily takes engine damage. Suspension damage as well. So be careful. That's all I can say. I could tow the Transtar with the Raswani. Hmm. Options, options, options. This is going to be fun. a vehicle. Yeah. Definitely a couple of thousand pounds missing. That was close to getting engine damage. Very close. Okay. So, little trend star. I think I have a job for you. Repairs are free. I'm not repairing the Transtar in the field. Only if I have to. Oh, last time I played, this was the trailer store. Now it's somewhere else. Every time I start the game, the trailer store is randomly selected. And you always have to figure out where to get your... <laughs> where to get your trailers, if you need them. Now I wish I had some sort of cruise control.
Yeah, snow runner again. Of patience. Okay, this will be the first test if we can pull the trend star up to the garage. I do believe I will. S yeah, there's a reasonable chance I will need low gear. totally fine but no mud So, but for the time being, I am pretty much impressed what that little Resvani can can do in its original configuration, so without any other tires or something like that. So, now the final bit up to the garage. I can gear. First gear. And it stored out. Low gear. Yeah. As I said, reasonable chance I will need low gear. He does it. Wow. Uh, back on even ground. The repair might be for free, but fuel is not. So, as soon as the transdoor comes out, it will need some fuel. So, let's see. Ah, upgraded engine. Um, yes, please. No. Uh, off road. Uh, highway tires. Do I stay on the road? I don't think so. Mm. Off road it is, but default ones. Uh, power, more powerful winch. Nope. Nope. Snorkel I don't need. Frame add-ons. This could actually be pretty nice. Hmm. I can sell the crane afterwards again. Yeah. Heck yeah, why not? Uh, 
Es war nie. Oh. Ähm. I'll take that. Thank you. This is going to be fun. I know I had a large crane. Ooh, oh, oh. oh, where did I use it? In. I think it was in Tamiya, but years ago. didn't sell any of the stock equipment, so I can still decide to... Oh, easy does it. To sell the truck. And this is going to be fun. Oh, at least, I hope so. Yeah, last time, same map, I got the Reswani stuck, uh, rescue attempt number one, I flipped the fleet star, and then I had to get the GMC for rescue attempt number two. Today we have the Twin Steer and of course still the Fleet Star and the GMC. as heck. Let's see, what range do I have? This is definitely nice. Okay, that's it. Then I need to reposition.
I have to always select the nearest one. No. Can I get you to... Okay. Uh, nope. Nope. I think there are still a couple of tons missing. ground no way okay I could recover to the garage just um, as an option but just to show you how expensive that would be 32,000 and no, refuse. I'm refusing to pay that. One more attempt, and then I think I will need to get the fleet star. But I was working against gravity. Maybe I can. Convince gravity to assist me. Maybe. I don't know. I am not sure I'm getting out of there. But should work out. to the side okay
Again, gravity. dangerous. get things going again. I think I will pay the 32,000. It's expensive as hell. Truck is repaired. Yeah, so much for that. But then again, as I said, almost everything to random recovery could have been unavailable. So, in that regard, I would say I'm lucky that I could recover. Although... 32,000 credits. That leaves a mark. Plus the additional driving, the additional time. Although, I spent like 20 minutes, half an hour. I think it's okay to call it quits. So, fuel trailer next, then refuel everything. What did I do? No. I didn't do the essentials. So, I, ha I will have to do that. I'm just sketching what to do next in my head. Pipe dream I definitely want to do today. And then if I am still 
fit enough. I think we will do... Um, the first regional project, the progress task. The first drill. Uh, but instead of thinking I had, I need to focus on getting down that darn hill. to remove that thing before pulling the fuel carrier up. But we are back in business. foreseeable future, this will be the last time that I'm down here. And of course I get the U-turn wrong. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Of course, I will need to move the transfer out of the way. But I am taking bets. If I will need the winch or not to get this fuel carrier up on the road. Welcome to my stream, and thanks for tuning in. If you have any ideas what I should stream, then the chat is yours. Just 
time I made it in one turn. Okay. I will have to watch the recording, how I did that. And this is too far away. Okay. Oh. Without handbrake. Okay. Dude. No diff lock on this track. Okay. I get it. That's better. Without even breaking a sweat. Read without again damage. How? Seriously. This truck usually is tough as nails.
Uh, it's not working. Yeah, at least some of the way. Okay, resuming the normal program. So, stable platform. Four set. And for coffee. Wrong side of the garage. I need that trailer on the other side. Refuel, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. E sixteen next. P16 will need to go into the garage because of repairs again and I can check if I did <laughs> Drummond Island quote unquote uh, completely uh, let's just check uh, no I didn't okay is for now and three more spaces that's okay grand star next
you need to go into the garage that I can sell all of your upgrades again. Note to self, if you want or the heavier your brain platform is, the better it will perform. And the suspension of the Trendstar reminds me of the <laughs> of the Scout 800. Soft, softer, softest. Ooh, slowly. So yeah, all the nice upgrades you had, you will have to give up again. Yeah, it's, it's a collector's item. as before, yes. Uninstall, sell, there you go. Mm, yeah. Uh, wrong way around. you can be used as a dual carrier. Playbook says get the um, Western Star, uh, White Western Star truck store. This one. Um, do I need it today? I think. No. No, no, I don't need it. Chicken, where are all my vehicles? Okay. the essentials. Yes, we can do. In a different order, but we can do it.
And before I head out... Trailer, missing machinery. Ah, that's the one. Yeah. I need that trailer. So, for the contests, I need to bring the trailer back. Uh, okay. I know I will have forgotten by then, but. loading costs so loading by crane is mandatory Essentials, then I will refit the fleet star. Maybe get the Resvani out to repair the White Western Star. That could be an option. So, two smaller trucks instead of the P16. No all-wheel drive needed, it seems. I'm happy with that. Yeah. But this only works if we can get... Yeah, I will think about that. Different strategy to to get the pizza. Usually, I would do that with the P16, but the engine upgrade would definitely help to drag the unrepaired and incapacitated White Western Star up that uh, up that hill. I don't think there is a alternative route which compensates for the additional effort, time and fuel it would cost. So the only real option is to yeah, repair the White Western Star. Okay, that's that. But then I wouldn't really need the P16, and this is why I'm thinking Fleet Star at the moment. So yeah, while going to get items for <laughs> the essentials, I'm already like two, three tasks ahead. Okay, and all the fuel I have saved, I will now use to load the cargo.
Yeah, good enough. Okay. Let's check the fuel situation while 161 meters. Okay. Yes, I'm kind of in fuel saving mode. Because that mistake in Smithville Dam. Yeah, it cost a bit of fuel. can do it. That's it. The most effective way to save fuel for me, because I'm crap and using the controller. Um, yeah, the most effective way to save fuel is not use all-wheel drive. Simple as that. And don't take like double the time or something like that. So, um, compared to my hard mode playthrough, we are in the very welcome situation. We are already level 22, so there's a lot available to me right now which is not available to me in hard mode this early in the game. And you notice the difference in fuel consumption. The fact that the Fleet Star can use off-road tires this early in the game, you notice that instantly. 
But on the other hand, I just spent 32,000 credits for a truck recovery. And let's say the average price is 8 credits per liter. Which is reasonable to believe. Then I would have to save 4,000 liters of fuel. On this map, I'm not driving that much to to get these numbers. In total, it's it's roughly mm, in total it's roughly 11,000, 12,000 liters for the for the complete region. And then to save one third of that this would mean never use all wheel drive this would mean always use the uh, yeah engine with the least power but that can be counterproductive What's wrong with me today? That rock has been there for ages. Uh, again, potentials kind of the other way around. Usually I would do bricks first and then come back to get wooden planks. So when I did come back uh, while playing off stream, I brought the service bear parts and now when going back, I deliver the wooden planks. And again, as an explanation, I don't know if you noticed, payout was 4,800. I... because modules are four times the price, recovery is four times the price, uh, add-ons and so on and so forth. So I set the mission rewards to three times the price. This is why I got 4,800 credits for that usually little task. Still going, still going. So, getting my trailer, going to Smithville Dam, getting the fuel, going to the farm. And... Ooh, I don't know if it was... No, this episode was Scout to the Rescue. So, the coming episode, I think it was um, where I showed the... Uh, southern approach to the farm because the road itself in early game is pretty difficult when you only have road tires or all-terrain tires available so uh, there is a north approach which I already have shown in one of my videos and I think in Thursday's episode Again, I have to rewatch the footage. I recorded that before Christmas. Um, 
I think that's the episode with the southern approach. It's actually pretty easy. You will see. And you don't even need uh, all wheel drive with road tires. And, yeah, depending from where you are coming, it's slightly longer, but again, you save time, you save engine time. Hmm? Ah, manual loading zone is blocked. Seriously, dude. government work. We are curious to see what few ah, ten per liter. That's almost normal.
Oh, by the way, has anyone tried to enter the garage with cargo? I never did. That's why I'm asking. Even when testing around to solve the repair work, never crossed my mind to actually do it. Okay, so driving straight across is the quote unquote northern approach when you don't want to use the main road to the farm. This is pretty uh, muddy, but you can do it with road tires. So, uh, yes, the main road to the farm is more or less obvious. And now, just checking, no all-wheel drive active. Oh, and this is the southern approach. Don't hit the tree, obviously. What's wrong with me? I'm hitting things left, right and center. So, but this is pretty solid ground. So even with a trailer attached with road tires, this will go pretty quickly. And then when crossing this passage here, you see the uh, tree stump to the right. Then uh, just be careful, stick a little bit to the left. And when you're turning the other way around to the right, and you'll be fine. So let's collect that task while we are here. And this is what I meant. The advantage having off-road tires. This alone helps so much. Uh, the essentials start tracking. This alone helps so much. Got to narrow down my turning circle. And to get going a bit faster, just a little bit of all your drive. And as soon as the momentum is there, we are going. Then again, to avoid the tree stumps, stay a little bit to the right. Those two are nasty. Ask me how I know. Checking, or I will check my playlist in a minute. Because I need a quick break, like five minutes or something like that. And then normal program will be resumed.
Fun fact. I still don't know what the prices for trailers are. And if I can sell them. No clue whatsoever. Okay, but that's that for a second. I need a quick break. So my apologies for interrupting this program. I will be back in a minute. Uh, you will get some music again, but like five minutes and I'll be back. 